Sunday. Uh, today is the day after our first event. It's okay. I event did all right. Yeah. Hopefully there'll be more. Meeting a lot of new customers. Mm -hmm. Introducing them to the magical world of magic cookies. Yep. Got a lot of good impressions too. We actually didn't have any samples to provide for anyone, so I feel like we missed out on that. Whole half of the event window mm -hmm. to entice customers. In the email they sent out to all the vendors was there's no samples allowed. We got there, we saw all the vendors having samples. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we were just a little late to the party. Regardless, we finally got the samples out and then that's when we started really pulling in uh, the customers. Had we known, we would have prepped because we packaged all of our cookies, so we had to crack open some of our packaging and separate them. We would have made just <laughs> We would have just made big platters of cookies and then chopped those up into sample sizes and let that be here. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it wasn't as presentable as we'd like, but we made the best of a bad situation. Yeah. And it was good. Everyone that tried the sample had a great impression. We had prepped a lot of cookies and any of the rollover cookies went into today's event. Today's event is another AAPI event um, in collaboration with Smorgasbord, which is also at the row, just at the back portion where they always have every Sunday. This year is the first year that the organizer, the vendor, is, uh, is putting together a mini mart of sorts. So it's a, it's a trial run. What it is is basically a 20 by 20 space, and then it's filled with a lot of other Asian-owned businesses, and we are one of them, the only baked good in the mini mart. So that's going on today, but yesterday we spent a lot of time away from baby boy. He did come by to visit us for a short moment. We were working, so uh, we didn't really get to spend the day with him. So today, where are we taking him, Mama? We're taking him to the Walt Disney yeah, farm. Choo choo train. Choo choo train. We're taking uh, Kami to the Walt Disney Carrollwood Bar, which happens every third Sunday of the month before he built Disneyland. He had a passion for railroad. Did he live here? You know what? We don't really know. It's gonna have a lot of history about Walt and his early endeavors before he created Disneyland. We didn't really know too much about it. We just heard about it and then we just dedicated this Sunday to be our exploration family day. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be really nice for all of us. It's all of our first time seeing this thing. It's a hidden gem, so I guess that's why not many people know about it. It's free, which is wild. Yeah, it's based on donations, so there's a box where you can donate if you want to. And Kame loves train, which is why we're excited to take him. I like train. You so, like train. He's a real toddler, this guy. <laughs> Kame, where are we going? <laughs> Ready, Kame? Show us a thumb. Thumbs up. <laughs> Here we are. Oh my gosh, this is insane! Come on, come here. Over here, dude. Go to mama. Are you driving the train, Kami? Hey, Papa. Feels like I'm going back in time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Look at this. Stop. That's the break.
genetic screening is to check to see if the baby has normal chromosomes. We did the test for Kami really late because we had our insurance come in really late. Now we're doing everything on time. We should be able to find out the gender of our baby very soon. I'm going to be drawing a lot of blood today. I told the doctor that I agreed to do all of the testing. You don't have to do them all, but I don't want to come back and do a different test. So I'm just going to get them all done at once. Maybe I'll I think they're going to be able to go to the gym. They're probably going to tell me that I'm not going to be able to work out for 24 hours. That's usually the case. You're going to feel it. Yesterday, John and I, <laughs> yesterday, John and I were going to go um, to the gym, but the day before, Kami didn't sleep until really late, and then John and I didn't end up sleeping until like five. We were so tired yesterday. Last night was probably the first night that we had really good rest. I think I did. I don't know if you did, but I had really good rest last night. That's okay. I don't know. Toddler's sleeping schedule is very unpredictable. I guess it depends on his activity for the day, but John took Kami to the park yesterday, so I think that really helped out. So we're, we're trying to like figure out like how we're gonna navigate it when we have a newborn. <laughs> been out here doing 100 push-ups a day he's actually on like day 56 It's not so much like a hobby or like a fad. You know, when you think about the longevity and the health and quality of your life, especially entering you know, family domain, you want to secure that by all means and it becomes part of your lifestyle. So fitness, I think from our generation moving forward, will be kind of you know, almost a necessity you know, for people. But at the end of the day, if you don't, you don't stay active, you don't engage that range of motion, you don't build that bone density, muscle tissue, mind-body connection, if you don't do any of it, your quality of life won't match the longevity of your life. And that's kind of something we've been preaching to a lot of our friends and family. It's just like, yeah, our parents' generation, they're the ones that found, you know, the right medical procedures and drugs and supplements to elongate people's lives. But people's quality of life, their physical condition did not really match that. So as they entered their 70s, on to their 90s, no matter what. Uh, I always see it like drinking and driving. Yeah, you could probably get home safe if you're lucky, but the chances of you getting home safe when you drink and drive versus not are drastically different. Fitness is, yeah, you can live to 80, 90, but the chances of you in, with good quality, that's up to you. There's hardly anything in life that's really up to you, so definitely fitness is something that's up to you. Yeah, we can't say it enough. That's why we do it. We had a nice back day today. Um, definitely want to uh, continue staying as active as possible during pregnancy because we had such a positive experience when we were pregnant with Kame and so fortunate that we have grandparents to watch him so we can continue our active pregnancy. Today was good. I'm, I'm able to, uh, now that I'm in second trimester, we're 19 weeks today, I have a lot of energy and I have appetite. So I'm able to hit my numbers again and very similar numbers to when I was pregnant with Kami. So uh, each week we're still doing progressive overload. I started at two plates but for one set and then last week I did two plates for two sets and then this week I finally did three full sets of two plates. Which was yeah, so tough but now that means next week I have to increase my weight. You don't have to increase your weight. We haven't done wake up sets in a while. Papa's been trying to get back to his numbers, but when it comes. No, 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 pass my original I never really strived for a heavy conventional. Yeah, he did. A lot. Last pregnancy, he did more. So 
only sumos. You did only sumos? So, for conventional, I'm just trying to test, trying to test myself. Uh, Malia is like a beast at doing conventional. Uh, lately, we've just been doing like three really good um, sets of whatever we're focusing on this day. Uh, this week, we'll just show you guys our weekly workouts. Saturday and I forgot that today we actually have a baby shower to go to so definitely no gym time today maybe tomorrow we'll do gym we're going to our friend's baby shower today choo 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 we're not going to choo choo baby we should have just went to the gym yesterday but Papa had no strength in his lower back but it's okay we're gonna go maybe tomorrow is the address? Happy Sunday, Jamma fam. I am going to pretty much end the video here because today I said we were gonna work out. One of the pregnancy symptoms that I had in my last pregnancy was sciatica. Uh, what that is, is a shooting pain from your lower back all the way down to your leg. Mine happens to just be from my lower back into my uh, glutes. Last pregnancy, I had it in my third trimester. I'm only in second trimester and my sciatica kicked in on my right side earlier on and then it went away. Now it's on my left side and that kicked in yesterday. I got it from sitting down at the baby shower from the couch. I locked up and I've just kind of been... Whoa! Can I sit down? I'm gonna end the video here and skip my workout today. Just gotta listen to your body. John's actually uh, training Pops. They're doing some outdoor workout at home. And then John went to go for a run with Pops. We just had breakfast this morning, <clears throat> getting one of my pregnancy cravings, which was Boomba Hoi. I haven't really had any pregnancy cravings. It's just every once in a while, I'll have a consuming thought of something that I really want. It's nothing unusual. I don't think I had anything unusual in Tommy's pregnancy either, but I did have more cravings. Every single day there was something new, but this time it's every once in a while, every few days, I'll just randomly crave something and then oh, we'll go get it. Drink. You want you to train, baby? Yeah. I think you should take a nap now. But yes, thank you for watching you guys. Thank you for keeping up with us. This week was just a series of our workouts. These homemade Play-Dohs that I've been making for him. This keeps really busy. The end of our video recap of this week, you make sure you to like, Duck. comment, comment, subscribe, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>